friends, it's me. Today's video is a true story about how this girl ruined, destroyed her sister's life. Let's watch. Hi, I'm Selena, and I'm the shyest girl among my family and friends. Okay, Miss Thicky. Hey, my name's Sniper Wolf. I'm thick. I mean shy. Hi, I Selena. also have a huge love for food. Same. You could say that I have a happy belly made of chocolate, chips, and ice cream. Bring those with a good book or a Netflix show, and I'm in heaven. I was kind of a loner who preferred spending time alone. As I grew up, my parents kept lecturing me about the importance of healthy eating and exercise. Do you know that old boring talk of how it is good to eat vegetables and not chips for dinner? Yeah, that one. Um, what about eating normal food for dinner? You're not supposed to eat straight up veggies and you're not supposed to eat straight up chips. Where's the chicken? Where's the pasta? Where's the rice? If I wasn't really jealous of my sister Gabriel, who was not only popular and had lots of friends, but she also had the hottest body ever. I mean, she could wear a shopping bag and look great. And for that, guys were obsessing over her. She always dated the hottest, most attractive ones, and I couldn't even get a first date. She often said to me, you know, staying at home with your potato chips won't get you your first kiss. Wow, she is straight up petty. Why you gotta rub it in? All right, we get it. Her sister's perfect. She's the popular girl. She gets all the guys. You know, these people really peak in high school. Just wait till high school's over. <laughs> I was always afraid of making a fool out of myself when meeting new people, but I was dying to have a first date, any date. I wanted to try what it feels to be a girlfriend. Then one time, while I was getting my books from the locker, Lorenzo, the captain of the football team, approached me and said, Hey, Selena, would you like to go to a movie with me tonight? I was shocked. I mean, no one has ever asked me out before. I immediately replied, Sure, what time? Wow, imagine if things worked out like that. All I wanted to do was go on a date, literally the next day. The captain of the soccer team asked me out. Coincidence? I think not, Selena. But when Gabriel saw me looking like that, she asked me where I was going. And when I told her, she laughed sarcastically and said, Yeah, right. You and Lorenzo? I wouldn't believe it even if I saw it with my own eyes. I was furious. That was pretty mean. But I didn't say anything. I just went out. I want to know what her problem is. What are you so evil for? You're pretty. You get everything you want. Her sister the type of child to cry when it's her sibling's birthday. Like, mother, why didn't I get a present? Selena's birthday. Birthday. Yeah, but it's a birthday and I want a birthday right now. Your birthday is in six months. <laughs> I want a present now. After the movie ended, Lorenzo and I went for a walk. Then he turned to me and said, Selena, I've liked you for a very long time now. Would you be my girlfriend? I was excited. So instead of saying yes, I leaned over and we had our first kiss. We were officially dating. The next day, the whole school looked at us while we were getting in holding hands. For the first time ever, Gabriel was jealous of me. She was beyond angry to the point that she came to the girl's bathroom and said in a threatening voice, you break up with Lorenzo today or else I would make your life miserable. Whoa! Calm down! You don't even know this boy! He didn't even exist until her sister started dating him. You know, maybe she's like a demon and all the boys' souls in that school belong to her. How dare my sister have a boyfriend? I simply answered, no. I later found that she asked Lorenzo to go out with her, but he refused. I kept going out with Lorenzo, and I completely fell in love with him. He was so nice to me. But one day, when I walked into school, all the kids were pointing at me and laughing. I didn't understand why, but then one of my friends showed me. There were pictures of me looking horrible in my sweatpants, surrounded by lots of bags of chips. I was embarrassed. Tears formed in my eyes, and I went directly to the bathroom. I didn't want to see anyone. Oh my god, this is why I lock my door. This is why I have blinds. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see me in this state. I don't know how she go on Netflix and chill with her snacks and then pass out and then leave her door open. Also, why everybody gonna laugh at this picture and act like it's not them on the weekends? Her sister's saltier than the Pacific Ocean. Lorenzo won't go out with me, but he went out with my sister. Disgusting. I knew she was the one who shared the pictures. No one else could have gotten them. So when her plan failed, she went to something more extreme. She took pictures of me while I was in the bathroom and shared them. <laughs> Forget bullies. Imagine your sister ruining your life. Where are her parents? How are you gonna leave the bathroom door unlocked while you shower, especially when the first incident happened? Haven't you people ever heard? Closing the gosh darn door, no. Smash like if you could sing the rest. <laughs> I was humiliated and felt horrible. Everyone had seen me naked, which I was not ready for. This time, Lorenzo comforting me was not enough. I headed to the house crying. All I wanted was to disappear, so I immediately signed up for the exchange student program, and luckily, I got accepted. I went to London without saying goodbye to anyone. I only said goodbye to my parents, and I deactivated 
all my social media accounts. My heart was aching for leaving Lorenzo like that, but I had to do it. You all are thinking that I must have changed my body during that time off, don't you? Well, you got that right. While in London, I decided to face my problem. I joined social therapy sessions to feel more confident about myself and learn how to defend myself. And more importantly, how to make friends. Then I joined the lacrosse team. I played sports while trying to eat healthy, and I managed to lose all the weight I had and get a nice-looking body. After the school year ended, I went back to my town looking fabulous. Wow! Who knew after a year in London you could just completely flip your life around? Okay, I mean, Selena did it. Look at her now. Looking like a whole snack. When Gabriel saw me, she couldn't believe her eyes. I was slimmer and more petite than her. She said rudely, You couldn't have done this by yourself. You must have taken some weird pills. All I said was, Who cares? As long as I am the more attractive. Ooh, if you thought you were mad before, I bet you really mad now. But all I wanted was to see Lorenzo. But to my surprise, he didn't even look at me. I told him, Hey, I miss you. Don't you want us to get together again? Yeah, I'm just gonna ghost you, completely disappear from your life, deactivate all my accounts, not say anything to anybody, and then come back a year later. Don't you wanna be with me? Are you serious? And he responded, You don't get it. It was never about the weight, being shy, or those stupid photos. It was about how you disappeared. I don't want to be hurt like that again. I was devastated to hear this, but I didn't want to bother him again, so I kept my distance. But after a while, I noticed something strange was going on. Gabriel was still after Lorenzo. She just couldn't let him go. I woke up to Gabriel throwing up in the bathroom. I went to check up on her, but as soon as she saw me, she started screaming, Get out! But I noticed that she was holding a pregnancy test in her hand. What? Oh my god! I waited for her outside, and when she came out, I asked, are you pregnant? And she responded, that's none of your business. She left me standing there speechless, but somehow, it all clicked. Okay, first, I like how she, like, talks, like, okay, I, I can't move my mouth that much or I'm gonna ruin my Botox, but, like, just reminding you how pretty I am. I was pretty sure that Lorenzo was the father, so I went to ask him. He was shocked when I asked him, and he asked nervously, how did you know? Wow. Was that all he cared about? I threw the water bottle upon him and went home thinking of how stupid I was. I threw the water bottle upon <laughs> him. <laughs> I mean, you disappeared for a year. Sis was like, free real estate. Please, sir, Spare a baby. I was furious at them both. I felt like I lost Gabriel forever. She didn't want me in her life. And no matter how many times I told her that I wanted to help, she just rejected me. I finally gave up. And just like before, I decided to focus on me and my studies to get out of this horrible place as fast as possible. So the end of the year, my sister had given birth to a beautiful boy called Alex and I was off to college. Eight years passed. I never spoke to Gabriel once. I only visited my parents while she wasn't there. Then she moved out, and I didn't try to make any contact with her. Wow, that's actually really sad. Her sister obviously has a lot of issues, and we still don't know why. Like, yeah, you know what? I'm in college, moved out. Like, they both grew up. It's been eight years, and they haven't seen each other. Was Selena born with some magical powers that Gabriella is very jealous of? Why so much hate? I didn't try to make any contact with her. However, I managed to meet Carl, the love of my life. He worked as a private trainer in the gym that I had a membership for. We instantly fell in love and started dating. Two years into our relationship, he proposed, and I said yes. We planned to have a huge wedding that includes all of our family and friends, and I decided to give Gabriel a call and invite her to the wedding. Oh man, it's been like 10 years since I've seen you, sis. Come to my wedding. This can't be a good idea. Mm -mm. It turned out to be the worst decision I've ever made in my life. Because because the minute she saw Carl, our future house, and the job I had, she went ballistic. She started throwing crazy comments like, You were always the lucky sister. You had everything you wanted. Wait, what? Bro, she had nothing but Netflix and her snacks. Hi, I haven't seen my sister in 10 years. <gasps> She's getting married. She just <laughs> slurped up her new home and husband. <laughs> How can you still be this petty? It's been 10 years. I knew she was having a hard life due to her poor choices, but she went overboard with it when she told everyone how I ran away for a year to hide my obesity. It's like she forgot what she did to me. Then on the wedding day, she was proposing a toast and she said, Years ago, I slept with Selena's boyfriend and last night I slept with her future husband. You know, just to keep the tradition. Who let her on the stage to do a toast? I would have had security holding her back. Like, no, she already tried to ruin it the day before when she met her man. Why even invite her? I would have been like, no, you gonna make this bad? Don't even bother showing up. And she gonna say, I 
I got with her boyfriend in high school after she fled the country. Clap, clap, clap. And now I'm a single mom because he left me. What kind of reaction are you hoping to get? Like the audience is just gonna be like, oh man. Get this crazy woman out of here. She had one too many rosés. I knew it was not true. Carl and I were together the night before. All she wanted was to ruin the wedding and she succeeded. All the guests started gossiping. The atmosphere was destroyed. Even the party ended early and I was heartbroken. The best day of my life turned out to be the worst. I hated every minute of it. And so, for the final time, I went to her and said, we are no longer sisters. I don't want to see you ever again. She laughed and then she left with her son, Alex. She should have wrote her out a sister contract and just ripped it in front of her. You are hereby excommunicado. I thought that everything ended, but then a year later, my mom called me and said, honey, your sister needs you. She's, I interrupted her saying, mom, what did I tell you? I don't want to hear anything about her. She's not family to me. Mom kept trying to talk to me about her, but I just blocked her calls and messages. Big yikes. One morning while we were having breakfast, Carl came and said, I'm sorry. For what? I asked. Your sister Gabriel died of cancer this morning, he said sorrowfully. I felt a wave of sadness overwhelm me. I booked a flight and I went to my parents' house. The funeral was at their place. I saw her son Alex there. I hugged him. My sister and I had our differences, but I still loved my nephew. But there was one more surprise waiting for me. Wow. Wow. That's horrible. A little baby girl called Emma. Mom told me that Gabriel had gotten pregnant from one of her boyfriends. Then she had cancer. She decided to keep the baby. The baby was gorgeous, but I knew that mom couldn't take care of her. She was too old for that. So I decided to adopt the baby. Ten years later, Emma is still living with Carl and me. She knows that I'm not her real mom, but when she asks about Gabriel, I make sure to tell her the most wonderful stories about Gabriel. The ones we had when we were children. Okay, but what happened to her son? Alex. Is Alex okay? Why did you adopt him too? Oh, this child's pretty. I'm gonna take her. Alex, uh, yeah, yeah, I, that's pretty sad. So, you know how I was like, why does she hate her so much? Well, now I guess we know why. Did she know this whole time she was dying? She was just like, I'm gonna be the absolute worst person ever to my sister in the last years of my life. Ah! But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment you guys get along with your sibling or not? Nah? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.